Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to do a little bit of a PR unboxing. I feel like I haven't really done these in quite a long time actually, like now that I'm thinking of it. Um, I just won't feel like, I feel like this is sometimes like fun because especially like it's like something unique package, but also I get to talk about like multiple products because I feel like most of the time I generally talk about like one company in one media because it's like all from the same brand but this would be multiple brands and also some of the things that I want to talk about while we chat so I feel like it would be sort of fun <laughs> I'll try to make it fun uh, it hasn't been the best day so far <laughs> uh, just a little bit having an off day but besides the point so um, let's get started and I'll show you guys some of the cool stuff that I got the first one I got, this is from Thayer's, I think that's how you pronounce it. I actually showed like the entire package uh, on TikTok. It's like so cute, right? Like this came in a box and you open it, it's like this. Now I'm going to open it and show you guys what's inside of it. Okay, inside it has three products. So one of them is the facial toner. This is what it looks like. It's the rose petal facial toner. And other one is also the facial toner, but this is unscented, so it doesn't have any fragrance. I'm just gonna still keep the package because it's so cute. Um, I might use it for something else, I don't know. And this one is the facial mist which has rose petals in it. Ah, I really like that. It's so refreshing. So other one I have, this is actually from a company that I'm working with, Walmart. So um, not directly with Walmart, but Walmart is, uh, there's a nutrition company, it's called Zo, or I thought how you say it, maybe Zo. It's Z-H-O-U, so maybe Zo. Okay, anyways. They're a nutrition company and I'm actually working with them. They will be launching at Walmart. So it's not the most, the most exciting one, but I do want to show you guys because I feel like a lot of people are into nutrition nowadays or there's so many things that nowadays we take. Um, it's just, I feel like it's not just based on your age. I feel like before we used to take so much nutrition because I feel like if you get older, you start to take more nutrition supplements. But nowadays, I feel like at any age, you kind of need that depending on your genetics or depending on just like who you are as your you know as your body fluctuates so this has multiple things like one of them is ashwagandha this is something so popular because i have seen it in other brands making this too this really helps with the stress reduction and immune function and like enhanced energy so it's like one of them then there's other one which is energy and focus this has caffeine in it so this is something good because if you don't want to get jittery uh, but you still need that like energy that comes from caffeine but you don't want to get jittery and like coffee drink coffee this is something you can use like very simple you can pop it there's something for the energy and focus there are even a couple of them just for women like this is evening primzone i think that's for female hormone I'll send that to my sister. <laughs> There's something for calming, um, like it helps with stress so you can calm your nerves like before you go to sleep. So I feel like that's something very cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of it, so pretty cool. I'll definitely let you guys know about the, how I like it so far later. Another one that I'm gonna show you guys, this is from a company called Keeps. This is what it looks like the shampoo and the conditioner so this is mainly made for men so if you have problems with your hair growth or just have thinning hair this is something you should be trying it has biotin inside biotin is something that just overall helps with like hair growth and green tea a lot of other stuff I actually don't have much problem with my hair it's more that like I'm actually working with this company and I just want to try because I don't have like that problem but my hair just naturally thin like it's it has never been like super like thick hair so it has never been like that genetically so I'm excited to try but on top of that they also sent me this thing this is essentially like a clinical thing 
It's called mono, mono, mono <laughs> topical solution, USB 5%. This is essentially clinically proven to regrow your hair if you have problems or follicles like the falling off in some part of your hair that you can insert it. So this is like three months supply. So when you open it, right, like so it has three of these inside then it has this thing that you can you know use for that so that is pretty interesting i'm actually excited to see how much of a difference that will make for me for someone that doesn't have like that like i don't have like any bald area or anything but it's more like thin area that I want, I'm just going to try and it specifically says it's not for women so I just feel like how different that is for women versus men I just thought like it would be the same but we will definitely let you guys know keep posted on that I'm working on that okay so this other one I actually already tried but I wanted to include it in this video because I didn't want to give like a little bit of my opinion about these products so this is from a company called no beauty so if you guys haven't heard of it this is um the company skincare company that if you guys can see yeah okay this one's skincare company that Vanessa Hudgens um Madison Beer and Dr. Karen Kala I think that's how you pronounce her last name they launched a skincare brand so it's essentially a skincare, like celebrity owned skincare brand. So, um, I mean, there's already so much stigma about it because there are so many celebrities who launch skincare. That is one thing. <laughs> but uh, these products is like, they're not like extraordinary, I'm going to say, because I have already tried them. So, like, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of my opinion. It's not extraordinary, it's just the moisturizer that you would be like, I don't know, I just feel like it's not something super super unique but this specific moisturizer that they put in here which says calming day moisturizer, it's like a liquid like it's in a liquid format that like I, I cannot call that like you guys see right, this is like a serum like I could say this as a serum again like it is moisturizing but I feel like there are so many also serums that are moisturizing at the same time so I feel like someone like me who has dry skin this is not gonna be that moisturizing and on top of that this actually this specific one because it says calming you know it makes sense from the name it has chamomile which is you know calming it has hemp oil cannabis so it has CBD in it and it actually smells like CBD <laughs> I have to be saying um, nothing wrong with that uh, it's more like because I have used CBD creams or CBD oils before on certain part of my body because I had soreness or anything it's good but it smells like CBD oil I don't know if I want my skin to smell like CBD oil just a thought okay <laughs> this other one this one actually one of my favorite it's called glowing collagen mask this is the one I actually like because you can live it overnight and on in the morning when you wake up your skin looks so good especially because like you know in the morning generally you have puffy skin puffy skin I mean puffy eyes or like you just look like a mess in, <laughs> depends at just at least me so it's not super pretty but because you put this overnight when you first wake up like you just have to rinse it your skin looks really good like really glowy not like sticky or anything but really glowy it feels like you got like ample amount of sleep uh, on top of that, because it has squalene, squalene is so good for skin. It really helps to regenerate your cells. And it has collagen, aminopeptide, so pretty good. And last one, I'm gonna put it in here. This one is this hydrating lip mask. <sighs> I don't know what to say about this one. So it is like not bad, but uh, I get so many lip, lip masks that I have seen. Um, this particular one, it just has beeswax, other like candela wax, um, wax I mean, uh, it has shea butter, shea butter is something just moisturizing but I wouldn't necessarily say again that is like mask because she, shea butter you can just put in your mask and just it put it in your lips or your face it's just moisturizing and it has vitamin C or whatever I would use this even like as a lip balm you know what I mean so 
best lip mask I have used and I would still say it again it's the one from Laneige and I feel like that's the probably the one that has gotten more views that I would definitely definitely recommend it it is perfect it really it really moisturizes your lips and it stays moisturized for a very long time I feel like this is something that you will probably put on that you might have to put it again later after a few hours um, because it's not necessarily a mask, it's more of like a moisturizing cream, if that makes sense. Okay, last one. This is very small, and I feel like I already throw the box because I got so excited for it. This is something from Hermes. Uh, it's called H24. It's in this clear package. This is not something for social media they sent it to me. This is more like for review on Sephora, I think. But I thought I wanted to include it because I feel like Hermes is such a brand that's like, I don't know, so prestigious and like everyone always like talks about it because of Birkins. Um, I was like disappointed with this smell, but I wasn't also super, super impressed because I'm pretty sure this is super expensive perfume, cologne, whatever you want to call it. It's not, it's not impressive. I'm gonna put like a detailed review, but it's not one of my favorites. Uh, even the packaging, I thought like it would be like a little more cuter and more bougie, you wouldn't wanna call it because it's Hermes, but kind of disappointed, I don't know. <laughs> okay, this is a little bit about this um, PR that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, sorry, it's kind of all over the place. I will definitely want to do this like monthly, definitely not like weekly because I feel like that might be kind of boring because I don't want to make the same content for you guys I do want to make it more interesting and a couple more things I'm gonna say this because this video is already getting like 12 minute mark so kind of long uh, there will be actually a little more changes in this channel like a little more I don't know I guess redirection and stuff like that definitely if anyone has any opinions or comments whatever definitely comment below I am open to any suggestions because I feel like I have gone through so many changes overall in this channel because of COVID and everything as I used to post way more like different content also because I started a vlog channel so I'm not going to put vlogs in here at first I was thinking about it but I just realized like it wouldn't make sense for me to put vlogs in here because I already have a vlog channel but I also seen like people doing like both in their main channel as well so I don't know but I'm just saying like be patient with me uh, as you might see like some random or different content in the next couple weeks um, it's just because I'm adjusting and I'm just trying to find my new direction and new ways for me to be more creative on this channel so I can I don't know like be better for myself and for this channel but I can also create much better content for you guys Okay, so that's all for this video. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please make sure to give a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week with another one. Bye guys.